YouTube, what it is, it's your boy Geddon, and I'm back with another video. So pull up your chair, open your ears, let's get it. YouTube, what it is, your boy Geddon, and I'm back with another video. I'm going to try to keep this video quick. So Still City Interactive released another update and this is like what the sixth update that they released for undisputed um what i'm seeing right now is not the stuff that i really would want to see them update so let's go through some of the notable updates and changes pertaining to gameplay mostly so they increase base flash knockout chance i think that's good i think this game needed way more knockouts there are three changes to this patch that are rather debatable one being that this game is already spammer hook heaven they increase the damage to headshots by hooks if gamers are already spamming hooks why would you increase the damage to hooks also they increase the stamina usage to power shots power shots don't do much matter of fact you rather throw hooks than power shots which don't make any sense to me one area that i think shouldn't have been touched was the increased damage dealt to block health i don't know about that one you, you want people to block less and throw more punches so this is what i'm talking about and i spoke about this maybe a couple of weeks ago it just seems as though when they do updates when they make changes their own gameplay design philosophy kind of battle each other so if you want people to have less block health, that means people are gonna punch more. If you're gonna punch more, you're gonna be draining more of your stamina. In this game, once your stamina is done, the game gets very frustrating because you punch like a snail. You do these slow motion punches that are highly ineffective. So if you have no block damage, they want you to punch more. So again, why would you want players to have less block health but when they do punch more, their punches are so degraded by the end of the fight. So you're gonna have players that barely lost any movement speed, but have very slow punches. The way this game is working and the way that they're designing it is like a recipe for disaster. I don't know if they see what they're doing. Let's see what else they have here. Alrighty now, um, let's move on to bug fixes. Eh, they're kind of irrelevant in my opinion. I do wonder what's the lots of other general bug fixes. I guess things that we don't see or kind of see rarely, but they still have phantom punches in this game and that needs to change as well. They need to fix that. They need to fix how inaccurate some punches are. They need to fix how too accurate some punches are. So let's go to the boxer changes. Fighters have gone through another iteration of balancing adjustments. With stat changes to Ryan Garcia, Josh Taylor, Joe Joyce, and 19 other boxers to make them feel more, more in line with their real life counterparts, please continue to share feedback around whether a boxer in Undisputed feels authentic to their real life counterpart as fighter balancing will be an ongoing effort throughout early access. So what's the one thing that is missing? <laughs> Obviously. Deontay Wilder, right? Deontay Wilder still has no power. At one point in time, right before this patch, Wilder had a good amount of power, but then they took it away. Yeah, they took it away. Now, I don't know how he's gonna play. I'll play and get back to you guys. What do you guys think about these balance changes? What do you think what needs to be changed? List your comments down below. This your boy Geddon, and we are out of here. Peace. Gamers, if you made it this far, and if you like the content, please like the content. Please hit the notification bell. I have content like these two videos that are released daily. And until then, we are out of here.